It's our final game. And we find out why strawberries are eaten at Wimbledon. First, England versus Sweden. The quarter-final World Cup match is tomorrow. It's getting intense and lots of you can hardly contain your excitement. We want to get some of your predictions for the big game. Come on, England! I think England are going to win. Someone from my prime is playing. Marcus Rashford. So basically, I go to this football called Street Reds on uh, Friday and Monday. Uh, Marcus Rashford used to be there playing along, but I never really knew he was going to be famous. I grew up seeing him quite a bit around where I live, and it'll just be um, um, amazing to see someone who lived around here on uh, play for England. He's a local hero. Saturday, England are going to smash it. Potentially have the best striker in the world, Harry Kane. I know that England's going to win because they've got better players. I predict the score will be 3-2 and I think two goals will go to Harry Kane and one for Rashford. 3-0 to England, goes 2-1 to England. I think the score is going to be 3-1. I'm so glad to be English. We're going to well win. Aren't they? Well, in Sweden, they're also getting excited about Saturday's game and reckon they'll beat England. Ooh. I'm Yusran, my name is Sian, I'm 10 years old, I come from Sweden. I'm so happy that uh, Sweden is in the quarters and I, I really believe in them. Come on, Sweden! I think Sweden will win with one to nothing. Sweden are really strong team. I really think that Sweden can do this and I am hopeful. Go Sweden, go Sweden, go, go, go Sweden. <laughs> well, we want to know if you think England can be crowned kings of football. At Newsround Online, let us know your thoughts on whether England will beat Sweden tomorrow afternoon. Next, did you know that more than one million of these are eaten every year by tennis fans at Wimbledon? But where did they come from and why strawberries? Well, Naz has been finding out. Come and get your strawberries! <laughs> what are they like, guys? Delicious! Really nice. The best thing ever to do in Wimbledon. There's a big team in charge of all the strawberries and the rest of the food to make sure it all tastes perfect. So delicious. Why strawberries? Well, I think the reality is that back in 1877, when the championship started, the UK strawberry season only lasted for about two or three weeks. It happened to be the same two or three weeks that the championships were running. So they come from Kent, they come from one farm, uh, they're picked from sunrise um, every single day, uh, and then they are transported to us by 10.30 to be eaten fresh on the same day that they were picked. But it's not just about the strawberries. What weird and wonderful things do the players like to eat? Salmon and chicken is really, really popular. Pasta. What is the weirdest request that you've ever had? Well, one player once asked for honey with his pasta. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure it must have tasted quite nice, but quite unusual. And that's not all. More than 2,000 kilograms of bananas are eaten by the players. That's almost the same weight as one whole elephant. Across the tournament, 17,000 portions of fish and chips, 86,000 ice creams and 30,000 pizzas are eaten. Do you want some more strawberries? Yeah! <laughs> I really want to know which tennis player orders honey with pasta. And there's loads more about Wimbledon at Newsround Online. Advice from tennis ace Johanna Conta about how to be a Wimbledon star yourself. Or fancy learning how to put your hair in a French plait like the ball girls. It's all there. Check it out. Well, that's it from me. Thanks for watching and enjoy the England game if you manage to catch it. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.